Hello everyone, this is Harry from Myers Communication. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix black skin of dead or blue skin of dead at your Sony via laptop, notebook, whatever you have. If you have this sort of problem, for example, the black skin of dead or blue skin of dead and your PC is getting hot so much. Sometimes it happens, PC is working for a few minutes after that you have black skin or blue skin right in something and it's shut down for prevent the damage. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the process. So for repairing this, we'll need a screwdriver. I have a Phillips four-headed screwdriver. Here is the notebook. Okay. I'll close this one. And after that, I'll put something down for work fine. And I will put this on this. And I will remove the battery. Let me show you fine. And as you see, the batteries come out. After that, I have to remove two screw, this one and this one. After that, here as you see, I have three more screws, one, two, three. And after that, I will take this cover out. Okay. Here as you see, I have hard drive. I'm not going to remove hard drive for this. I have to take this screw out. Okay. Put this one side. And you have so many screw. Here is two. And some other places. You don't need to touch those. Because I'm going to take out the keyboard of this notebook. I'll flip this one one side. And I will open this one. And you will see the keyboard is coming out. Be careful, the keyboard is connected by some ribbon to the motherboard. As you see, you don't need to touch here, nothing. And as you see, I have the RAM here. All you need to do, you have to lose the clip, both the side, and the RAM will come out by itself. Here is the RAM. It has, I don't know which RAM it is. You have to check. This is DDR1, DDR2, or DDR3. I have some DDR2 RAM here, as you see. You can check as this, as you see the holder match, that means this is DDR2 RAM and this is DDR2 RAM. Let me show you some another RAM. I have so many RAMs here. As you see, this is DDR3 RAM and the whole are not matching. So you have to know which RAM you have. I'm going to put a Samsung RAM as you see I have one. Here as you see you have something. The hole of the RAM as you see this hole should go at this place and should fit at as this. And after that you have to push, you have to pull inside and you have to gently push. Do you see the RAM is going inside? After that you have to put the keyboard as this. After doing this. What you have to do, you have to close this as this and you have to put all the screw back in its place. This would go here. Connect with the power cord. And here we are. I'm going to open this one now. As you see, the notebook is opening now. 
but you have to check that the RAM is working properly or not and you have to work to see you have the blue skin again and not sometimes some unsupported RAM because the RAM we have 667 megahertz and 800 megahertz for DDR2 so you have to check which version of RAM is exactly supporting your laptop as you see the windows is starting so this is one way you can fix your blue screen black skin or sometimes some drivers is not working at your pc properly some drivers of the graphics the drivers of sound card you have to upgrade all the drivers and you have to check all the software is working properly or not check one by one for example you can start with the drivers for video card for sound card after that upgrade the window and all the things if it's not working on them then check the ram change the ram is not working after that that means you have some problem at the motherboard in that case you should throw that pc or sell to somebody and buy a new one okay this is all my friend if you like this video please do subscribe if you have any question leave me as a comment i will try to answer you as much fast as possible as always for more information go to the iris communication www.iriscommunication.com have a nice evening ciao